what is the type of nan? So nan in JavaScript stands for not a number. And if we look in the console, we have a property, a value of nan. The type of nan is surprisingly number, which is a bit strange considering it's named not a number. But yes, nan is of type number. And it's used to define a number that isn't really a number. So perhaps the result of a bad calculation. So for instance, if we try to do ABC divided by four, this would result in nan, not a number. And this might seem pretty straightforward enough, but there are a couple of really surprising characteristics of nan that can result in some hair pulling bugs if you're not aware of them. And the number one thing which people find very confusing about nan, and this is actually in the specification, in the official specification for JavaScript, is that nan, compared to anything else at all in the world, so if nan is equal to one, that is false. That's fine. Nan is equal to false. It's false. So nan compared to any other value anywhere is false. But rather confusingly, nan compared to itself is also false, which is really strange. I mean, every single value in the system, if compared to itself, would always be true. But with nan, nan compared to itself is always false. So this begs the question, how do you actually check to see if something is nan? You can't compare nan to nan to see if it's actually equal to nan. So unfortunately, there is a method, but it has its own issue. So there's an inbuilt function in JavaScript called is nan. Okay, so if you pass the is nan nan, that would be true. Okay, so that's one way we can check for nan. But unfortunately, this is nan function has its own problems. So if we pass into is nan one, okay, that's false. One is a number, so that's false. But what if you passed in the string one? Again, that's false. The string one is not a number. Okay, understood. But what if you passed is nan of a? That's true. So the string a is actually not a number, which always makes me laugh. I think that's so stupid. But if you think about it in the context of what we discussed in the previous uh, question, which is where we cover the topic of type coercion, that's what's happening here is it's implicit coercion. So in the isNan function, the parameter that's getting passed in is being coerced. So if you remember that term from the previous lecture, JavaScript is trying to coerce A into a number so it can check to see if it's not a number. So when it tries to coerce A into a number, so remember to see what JavaScript sees when it tries to coerce something, you can use the function. So here we can type the function number. So number A is nan. So what's happening here is it's actually doing something along the lines of this. So it's then passing in number. It's coercing the string A into a number and then passing that to the is nan function. And that's basically passing into is nan, the parameter nan. And that is true. So why when we call is nan with the string one, is it resulting in false? I mean, what's happening there? Well, that's because when you try and coerce the string one into a number, you actually get the number one. So what's being passed in here is actually the number one. And the number one is not the number, so it's false. So this is really a bit confusing. The isNan function is pretty useless, really. Well, unless you're absolutely 100% certain that the variable you're checking isNan for is actually supposed to be a number. But given that JavaScript is dynamically typed, we can never really be 100% sure of that. So the isNan function isn't really that useful. It may return true if the parameter being checked is actually a string of some form. But there is a little trick in JavaScript, and, and this is where I suppose the point of this question is and, and what the interviewer is looking for you to say when you start talking about nan. And that is really how to check for nan. Given that the nan compared to itself is false, and given that the isNan function has these issues which I've just gone through above, how do we in fact then can consistently check to see if a variable is in fact nan? So the only foolproof way to check if a variable is nan is since nan is the only JavaScript value that is treated unequal to itself, you can always test if a value is nan by checking it for equality to itself using the not double equal double equals operator. So we'll use the not double equals operator. So for instance, let me refresh the page. Bar a is equal to nan. This is a little bit difficult to understand, so just bear with me. So a not equals equals to a, okay? For if a is nan, this will be true, okay? If a is equal to a number, a not equals equals a will be false. If a is anything other than nan, a not double equals a will always be false. If a is equal to nan because of the strange property of nan where it is unequal to itself, where alone amongst all of the other JavaScript values, it is unequal to itself. You can use this little trick 
where a, where if you're checking a variable to see if it's nan, if the variable is not equal to itself, then and only then will it be actually nan. So that is really what an interviewer is looking for when they're asking you about the type of nan or asking you about anything really to do with nan. They're looking to see if you understand this concept and you understand this little trick in JavaScript to see if a variable is in fact nan.